Shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For the Lord is our God, and we are the people of God's pasture. Shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Give glory to God, our light and our life. Oh, come, let us worship and pray. Our psalm is Psalm 113. Hallelujah, give praise, you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Let the name of the Lord be blessed from this time forth forever. From the rising of the sun to its going down, let the name of the Lord be praised. Who is like the Lord our God, who sits enthroned on high, but stoops to behold the heavens and the earth? Enthroning them with the rulers of the rulers of the people. Sage, the 
Gospel reading from Luke's Gospel, the 16th chapter. Then Jesus said to the disciples, There was a rich man who had a manager, and charges were brought to him that his man was squandering his property. So he summoned him and said to him, What is this I hear about you? Give me an accounting of your management, because you cannot be my manager any longer. Then the manager said to himself, What will I do now that my master is taking the position away from me? I'm not strong enough to dig, and I'm ashamed to beg. I have decided what to do, so that when I am dismissed as manager, people may welcome me into their homes. So summoning his master's debtors one by one, he asked the first, How much do you owe my master? He answered, a hundred jugs of olive oil. He said to him, take your bill, sit down quickly, and make it fifty. Then he asked another, how much do you owe? He replied, a hundred containers of wheat. He said to him, take your bill and make it eighty. And his master commended the dishonest manager because he had acted shrewdly for the children of this age are more shrewd in dealing with their own generation than are the children of light. And, and I tell you, make friends for yourselves by means of dishonest wealth, so that when it is gone, they may welcome you into the eternal homes. Whoever is faithful in a very little is faithful also in much. And whoever is dishonest in very little is dishonest also in much. If then you have not been faithful with the dishonest wealth, who will entrust you with the true riches? And if you have not been faithful with what belongs to another, who will give you what is your own? No slave can serve two masters, for a slave will either hate the one and love the other, or be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. The Gospel of the Lord. Maybe see.
we invite you to join us in the singing of the gospel canticle in whichever way you are comfortable, whether on melody or in harmony. In the tender compassion of our God, the time from on high shall break upon us. In the tender compassion of our God, the time from on high shall break upon us. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of Israel. You have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servants, David. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Through your holy prophets, you promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all. Show mercy to our forebears and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Worship you without fear, holy and righteous before you all the days of our life. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break. shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare the way, to give God's people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing light and life to each new day. Especially we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation. For the new creation in you and all gifts of healing and forgiveness. For the gifts of relationship with others. for the whole communion of faith. 
Merciful God of might, renew this weary world, heal the hurts of all your children, and bring about your peace for all in you. Especially, we pray, for those who govern nations of the world. For the people in countries ravaged by strife or warfare. For all who work for peace and international harmony. For all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction. For the people of God in every land. O oh God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending by paths as yet, as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. In your name we pray. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. 